Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie at CameronMCNZ on Twitter, and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about Jekyll Markdown and GitHub pages and how you can start creating some blog posts or some GitHub page entries and take advantage of that Jekyll Markdown semantics. I have created three HTML pages here in my GitHub pages account. And you can see there's the hello world one right there. It's called hello world web page.html. My account's named learn Jekyll fast. So it's learn Jekyll fast.github.io slash then the web page name. And you can see the hello world. It's just a little HTML there. There's no Jekyll or anything in there. I did like a little Jekyll and bootstrap page. Also did a, a learn Jekyll fast page. And you can see them rendering up here. This one's got an H2 tag and a paragraph tag and this other one's got, oh, this one's got an ordered list on it. So you can see all this transitioning over and being implemented over on GitHub pages. But these are just basic HTML pages. When you're working with GitHub pages, you get the opportunity to create these pages using Jekyll. So for example, I've got this Hello World web page right here. And I've got Hello World and an H1 tag. You know, really when you're working with with Jekyll and GitHub pages, you don't have to do all of this other stuff, the body tag, the head, all that. What you can do is you can just create a new file. I'm going to recreate this file. So this is called the hello world web page. I'm going to add a new file and this file I'm going to call hello world.md. The MD stands for markdown. And I'm not going to do all of this junk here with the HTML head. I'm just going to use some markdown. I'm going to use a hash there. That means make this an h1 tag and I'm going to write hello world. And this is a Jekyll implementation of this entire page here. And I'm going to click commit, scroll down, hit that beautiful green button. The file is now committed. I also had what? I had this Jekyll and bootstrap page here, right? So I got a title, start using Jekyll. There's a paragraph. I've got an unordered list as well. How can I create that using Jekyll? Well, this page was called Jekyll and Bootstrap web page. I'm just going to create a new file. I'll call this Jekyll and Bootstrap.md. And it looks like we had a pound sign there for the title start using Bootstrap 5 and Jekyll. I'm going to do some Bootstrap 5 stuff later. And it looks like. Uh, we got a little paragraph there. Here are the reasons. And then I can just type a little list here. So it's an unordered list. Um, I'm going to make it an ordered list. So I'm going to go one. It's mobile friendly. Two. It's jQuery free. There's no jQuery in Bootstrap. Five. And then number three, it's lightning fast. And so now I can create content with, you know, that's structured, that's got a heading tag, that's structured as an ordered list, that there's a paragraph there. And Jekyll will put in all of these tags for me so long as I've used markup like this. The pound sign means a heading. One, two, three means to order this as a list. I'm going to commit that file. And I'm also going to create this last one here. What else did I have? I had Jekyll and Bootstrap, and then I had Learn Jekyll Fast as well. So I'll create this as well over here, add a new file. And you can see I'm creating these MD files now, stands for Markdown. I am not creating full HTML pages. And this is sort of the promise of Jekyll, that you can create these cool pages. I've got a heading there, learn Jekyll on GitHub. I'm gonna say it's great. And now notice I had italics there, that I tag to do italics in GitHub. It's just uh, you put an underscore in front and after the item that you want to italicize. And then this has also got an H2. And for the H2, you just put two hash signs after each other. And then I go, seriously, it's great. OK, and I'll commit this file as well. And now I've got three, well, I've got three HTML pages in here, but I've also got these three Jekyll pages. And again, they have this .md finish to them. But if I come over here, what was the first page called? It was called 
Hello World web page. Well, it wasn't called Hello World web page with the markdown file. It was Hello World.md. But if I just put .html, what happens behind the scenes is Jekyll compiles the md file and it turns it into a .html file. Now it also wraps a custom theme around it. One of the things that Jekyll will do if you don't create your own theme is by default on GitHub, it'll put the, the name, the URL of the user account and the GitHub link as the header. And then it puts your markup underneath. And so this here is just part of the, the default theme that GitHub will put in there. We'll update that later. If I inspect the page, you'll notice that it's got all of these well-formed tags in it. So GitHub Jekyll has put all of the structured code. It's pushed the HTML in, it's put the body in, it's put a little div tag in there. It's put the hello world in H1 tags. It's even done a little bit of scripting and stuff for us as well. And I can take a look at some of the other pages that I had. So I also had, what did I have? I had hello world. I had Jekyll and bootstrap. So let's take a look at this page. There's Jekyll and bootstrap.html. You notice that I now get that Jekyll and bootstrap page, but I also get the HTML there. Let me just take a quick look at how that looks as far as the markup goes. And there we go. You notice that in the markup, we didn't have any unordered list tags, but it's actually put those list tags in there. I can inspect that. You can see that's put this ordered list and list item tags in there. And then finally, what was that last one that we created? It might not have been the last one, but it was in there. Last one to check out. Um, we got learn bootstrap and then learn Jekyll fast. So let's take a look at that. You can see, you can see the HTML there and I do raw. Well, that's the markup, not HTML. You'll see the HTML when you actually see the HTML page. So again, notice that it's taking that .md file, building it, turning it into an HTML file and then processing this, which says do a heading here, italicize this, do an H2 tag there, and it's building all of that on the page. And if I inspect this page, yeah, you can see right there in that paragraph tag, well, it's actually not done the italics tag, it's done the HTML5 improvement, which is the emphasize tag. But yeah, it's taken this markdown and it's converted it over here onto this page. Now, as I said, there's a couple of things in this theme that I don't like. I don't like this learn Jekyll fast at the top here. I think I could do some improvements on this page. But we'll get into that next. But that's the basics of how you start writing Jekyll code and using some of the markdown semantics to avoid writing HTML and just quickly put blog and custom website posts on your page. And there you go. That's how easy it is to start creating pages with some Jekyll markdown in them in GitHub pages. Now, if you enjoyed that tutorial, why don't you head over to the serverside.com. I'm the editor-in-chief over there. We've got lots of great tutorials on Git, GitHub pages, GitHub, DevOps, enterprise software development, and a variety of other things that might interest you. If you're interested in my personal antics, follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ and subscribe on YouTube.